Hey what's going on guys, today I'm going to show you how to create automated vehicles in Fortnite Creative. So this technique is probably the most useful one in Fortnite Creative at the moment. You can use it to create so many different things like the mini game that I just released, the carnival, and to remotely activate devices like in my Stormrunners level. To create this mechanic, you're going to need four devices. First of all, you're going to need some sort of vehicle device, which is going to move. Next, you're going to need some spike traps, chillers, and then finally a speed boost. To get started, build three walls and a ramp. Place the vehicle spawner in the same direction as me. The vehicle will roll off towards the right. Next, you want to place a chiller trap, then a speed boost. And finally, you want to place a spike trap. As you can see the spike trap activates the vehicle and it begins to roll off the platform. If you want to create an infinite loop, you're going to have to destroy the car. As you can see, when I delete the car, it gets respawned on the pad and rolls off again. We can automate this by creating a small box and then filling the box with spike traps. Now the vehicle is stuck in an infinite loop, rolling off the spawn pad and then into the spike box. This little feature can be used in so many different mini games and mechanics. I've placed a music sequencer device to show how I activated the storm remotely in my storm runners level. If you're planning on automating a storm remotely, then I'd recommend not putting the kill box in as you don't want the storm to be reset halfway down the level. And that's it guys, that's how you get basic automation and cars that move by themselves in Fortnite Creative. If you liked today's video, make sure to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one. If you enjoy my content and videos guys, you can support me in the Fortnite item shop by using creator code BLUEDRIVE.